Look at this thing. It's the Vent Smile Windows Box. I haven't been impressed by a cheap Chinese product in a long time, and today is a good day. This thing's actually on right now. We can see the little LEDs on. We got two USB 2.0 ports. There's only four conductors in there. If you go in the BIOS on this thing, it says USB 3, but it is actually USB 2, and it's advertised as USB 2, so it's not that big of a disappointment. Uh, we got a micro USB uh, that's for powering the system. We got a mini HDMI, and it does come with a mini HDMI to HDMI cable. It's about uh, three feet. I got it sitting over here. Uh, we got a little TF card, micro SD slot, and an analog output for our uh, headphone jack. And it does do audio over HDMI. I just plugged it in and it worked with no problems whatsoever. So uh, I was just doing some tests on this thing. Let's plug it back in. It's still powered on. Uh, I'm going to plug in the HDMI cable here first. That's so awesome. And I'm going to plug in a wireless keyboard and mouse thingy. That's awesome too. And for shits and giggles, let's plug the power in just because uh, I haven't had it plugged in for too long. I don't know how long the battery's going to last. So the first thing I was doing is kind of just messing around with uh, Windows here. And this is running something called Bing OS and I haven't been able to figure out what the heck makes it different besides the fact that when I go to the start menu here, it says 8.1 under the start menu, but I don't see the power options here that usually get after you get Windows 8.1 installed. Um, Let's see here, let's type in uh, vacation, vacation rentals and see if Bing is going to do something. Because I'm assuming uh, they're subsidizing this somehow because this only costs it's like 120 bucks. And I don't understand completely why it's getting subsidized to this point because this is, this is a full Windows 8.1 with the Office 365. And this one's actually legit too. There's a lot of them out there running cracked versions, not for this particular manufacturer, but a lot of the little mini PCs you get will be running a cracked version of Windows 8. This is actually a full legit copy. I was very impressed with it. Um, it doesn't look like we're getting any advertisement bullshit here by uh, doing a search on my computer, so it's obviously not infiltrating our search, which is nice. Uh, what I was doing earlier here is looking at, uh, first off, let's look at how much hard drive space we got here. So a fresh Fresh installation here, we got a uh, used space 6.37 gigabytes used up, free state space 18.8 gigs. That's enough to you know put a decent amount of crap on the computer as far as programs go. Don't be sticking a ton of movies on it, but you always got the external hard drive option. Uh, I wanted to load up, uh, I didn't even install Firefox or Chrome or anything, I was just doing everything in Internet Explorer, but uh, I switched this to 1080p and just wanted to check out some playback. And it's incredibly smooth. The playback is incredibly, incredibly smooth, where there's no screen tear. I mean, everything just looks nice and clear. I like it. I like it. And if you look at the amount of stress that it puts the CPU through... Welcome to another episode of Jaylon's Garage. Well, it's, it's not even peaking over 30% here, and it's dynamically adjusting the it's gigahertz. Finish. It's going all the way up to 1.4 gigahertz. SC250. The maximum speed here in Task Manager is 1.33, which is reported by the Intel uh, chip itself. But the BIOS on this thing is freaking amazing. Here, let me show you this real quick. So let's go, uh, I hate the charms. Oh, I can't wait for Windows 10. Okay, so we're going to go to Settings. We're going to go Power and Restart. And I still haven't figured out what the BIOS key is, but I go F1, F2, and Delete, and just kind of bang on them until it goes into the BIOS. And this thing has a crazy BIOS. There is so much stuff in here. It's like they uh, they took a stock BIOS and they didn't take anything out. There's just more than you can, more settings than I, I can even understand here. Let's go into CPU configuration. Um, I mean, we you can disable the cores, put in a single core mode. You got the JSON cache line prefetch. It's got VT. You could put uh, VMware on this thing. I don't know how well that would perform, but after doing the 1080p, why not give it a try? That's pretty sweet. Uh, power technology is set to uh, energy efficient. If we go to custom here, we got all kinds of fun settings that you can Google and figure out what those do. Um, let's see, what else do we got? We got thermal configuration, PPM configuration. There was a COM port uh, in Device Manager that I noticed. Um, I'm not really sure what that's about, but uh, uh, there might be some clues in the BIOS here. Uh, the USB 3.0 support is enabled, but keep in mind there's only four conductors on the uh, on the ports themselves, so I'm assuming that it is limited to the 2.0 speed. Um, it does have, I believe, uh, TPM and uh, Intel anti-theft configuration. Um, I'm not sure if that reports back to a home base server, but uh, okay, that's great. There's just tons of options in here. You got options for your north bridge and your south bridge. 
Uh, this looks like there's a nice audio chipset in here that does the audio over HDMI and also an analog output. Um, just so many settings in here. I'm not going to bore you with too much of this stuff, but uh, we got uh, just all kinds of cool stuff. Um, it's your quiet boot enabled, fast boot enabled, uh, USB support, boot off a USB devices, select your USB devices. I'm assuming if you plug in a SD card or any other bootable device, it'll show up in this list, so you can do all kinds of fun stuff there. Uh, again, this is just every setting that you could possibly want to configure in a, in a little system like this. Uh, I really enjoy the fact that they did not neuter the BIOS. So let's look at the boot time. Boot time on this thing's pretty damn good. So there's a BIOS screen and then it's going to start uh, loading the operating system once we see the little spinny wheel there. Puppy's having a dream over here. Yeah, look at that. The boot time on this thing is just completely excellent. Look at that. Okay, so I'm going to go Windows D as fast as possible. Let's open up an Internet Explorer. Boom. And look at that. It's, it's loading. It's uh, let's open up the task manager here. Our memory consumption after fresh boot is a very respectable 0.6 gigabytes, only using 32% of the memory on board. CPU consumption, it looks like it's at 1.5 gigahertz right now just because it's probably still loading background processes. There was a few funky, um, there's very little in the, in the way of bloatware. Um, if we go into msconfig here, we can see that the only services that are installed on the machine are all signed by legit companies. If we hide all Microsoft ones here, we got the Bluetooth here by Broadcom and the rest of them are signed by Intel. There was a few things here that I didn't, haven't had the time to Google yet, but uh, uh, the THD present and there was some other remote thing here. I just uh, ended the processes, I right clicked, I went to uh, the uh, file location, I just deleted them. I don't know what they do, but uh, whatever, don't need them. Um, what else do we got here? We got your Bluetooth icon here to connect your Bluetooth devices if you want to do that. That's really cool. Um, what else here? It's charging the battery, 53% charging. I got this thing plugged into a uh, an amp meter right now and the, the it's at 4.65 volts and 0.15 amps, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, I'm going to plug it. I'm going to wait until the battery is fully charged to get an accurate power reading on this thing. If that's true, this is uh, breaking the laws of thermal dynamics or some crazy shit. Uh, with the Bing OS, uh, I was assuming that they weren't going to allow you to change your home page or restrict it in some sort of fashion, but under Internet Options, I set that to Google right away. Um, and we've seen that it's not doing, it doesn't seem like it's a big advertisement. Uh, based platform. I, I don't really know what the heck this Bing OS thing is, but uh, so far I like it because uh, the memory consumption on Fresh Boot is completely respectable. And uh, let's see here, the wireless, uh, internal wireless is okay. Um, we have, I'd say it's a 6, 7 out of 10 as far as the signal strength. It's not, uh, it's not like an Alpha Networks USB with a with a big antenna on it, but it's uh, for something in an aluminum, aluminum box like this, it's pretty damn good. Uh, I was hoping there might be some infrared receivers underneath here so you could program remotes or something, but I haven't got any luck with that yet. I don't think it's actually a feature, but uh, 